families welcome back once again i hope you are well i hope your day is good thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your first time here my name is mamri and yes what i do here is i translate the videos work on them and share with those of us who do not understand french so in case i forget to tell you last minute that's why i'm telling you here i wish you will stay with me you will not run away it's not those ai uh, you know this is real news i can trace it for you i promise you thank you so much this is about genetic artificial mosquito yes that's it i've heard about this long time ago so i'm aware of it and i know many of you my families here you are more intelligent than me you know about it you know a lot of what is going on. I suspected something in uh, Ghana last year, precisely February when I was there, that there were some mosquitoes, because I live in a village that are not normal. They are huge. And I was telling my mom that I know about something, and I think, I think it's in Ghana. And she was like, really? I said that these mosquitoes are not normal. To my surprise, yesterday, a news release in Burkina Faso, according to the news, 75,000 of these mosquitoes was released in one of the villages. I said, what? Under Captain Ibrahim Jari, what is going on here? Families, please listen and I'll be back. everyone to protest against the release of genetically modified mosquitoes, which took place on August 11th in the village of Sokodenga, to also remind everyone of the basis for our concerns regarding the Target Malaria project and to open a debate on the project's activities. As you know, in a statement dated August 14, 2025, the Institute for Health Sciences Research IRS, announced that it had released genetically modified male biased mosquitoes in the village of Sokodenga. In the Karangasu Samla department, specifically it should be noted in the Hawet province, this release, according to the information gathered, was authorized by the National Biosafety Agency by a decision dated July 24, 2025, based on an evaluation report from the National Scientific Biosafety Committee and according to them, a broad and inclusive consultation with the villages of Sokodenga and the surrounding villages, among others. The coalition had called for the suspension of the release authorization and the broadening of social dialogue so that all arguments could be considered in the controversy surrounding the Target Malaria Project in a statement we published on August 11, 2025. Unfortunately, at the same time, 75,000 mosquitoes, I repeat, 75,000 mosquitoes, genetically modified self-limiting males, were released into the wild. Our dismay was immense. We note that the decision-making process for the release did not give us the opportunity to file an appeal in a timely manner. This observation does not help to ease our doubts about the transparency in the management of the project's activities. Furthermore, we question the validity of the free and informed consent regarding the data from the populations of Sokodenga and the surrounding villages. Indeed, the issue of genetically modified mosquitoes is highly technical. So technical, in fact, that it is not easy for lay populations to give valid consent to the release. In fact, why are we opposed to the target malaria project? We believe that malaria, the malaria pandemic, is a tragedy in our country. So many families are bereaved each year, and it is indeed necessary to find solutions. The problem lies in the solution proposed by the Target Malaria Project. It consists of eliminating the vector using gene-drive mosquitoes developed through gene-drive technology. 
We specify that the eggs of the genetically modified mosquitoes, which will later be gene-driven, because this is the critical phase of the project, are imported from Imperial College London and from Italy. This technology is highly controversial and raises ethical issues. Instead of considering solutions to the unpredictable risks, we say that it is better to prioritize these alternatives. Gene drive technology or genetic forcing is still controversial. Let's talk about it. Genetic engineering for us is a science, a beautiful science in fact, and as such, it is natural for our researchers to be interested in it. However, these applications can prove to be dramatic given their irreversibility and consequences. Gene drive is a poorly understood technology, very poorly understood. Science has not yet accumulated enough experimental data on heredity. The gene drive concept. So the same gene drive can turn out to be very dangerous for human health and for interactions within ecosystems. The first experiment, to be precise, was in Asia on gene drive applied to mosquitoes and was carried out in 2018 by Professor Andrea Picenti. We included a reference in the opening statement that you can check. And to this day, no genetically driven mosquito has yet been released into the wild. It doesn't exist anywhere. That's why we are calling for strict adherence to the precautionary principle. Gene drive technology is capable of exterminating an entire species. Scientists around the world are urging the utmost caution and emphasize that this technology is not yet ready to be used in the field due to its high degree of uncertainty and unpredictability. More specifically, the impacts of organisms resulting from gene drive on health and ecosystems are unknown and potentially irreversible. We repeat that the problem of malaria is a problem of poor sanitation. To these alternatives, which have already been proven effective by other countries in the fight against malaria, we must add, in our case, the improvement of living conditions to drive mosquitoes back into their natural habitat. There is also the use of Artemisia for treatment, not to mention the introduction and continuation of research on the vaccine by our dear ones at Nanolo. When faced with a significant problem like malaria, well-intentioned geneticists always strongly recommend prioritizing ecological solutions, especially when they genuinely exist, over biotechnological solutions whose long-term consequences are still largely unpredictable. With this significant second release, Target Malaria has successfully completed the entirety of the second crucial phase of its extensive project and may now potentially move forward into the third and final phase, a development which we collectively fear the most and view with significant apprehension. This is because the impending third phase will, with absolute certainty, involve the controversial and potentially dangerous development of genetically engineered gene drive mosquitoes, a prospect that raises numerous ethical and environmental concerns. And that we do not want. No part of the world has yet experienced the release of gene drive mosquitoes genetically forced into the wild. Therefore, Burkina Faso, which is not yet at the very forefront of advanced gene drive technology, cannot realistically serve as a primary test country for the experimental release of genetically modified gene drive mosquitoes into the wild environment. We also extend a sincere invitation to the esteemed intellectuals of this great country, particularly those who are recognized experts on this significant subject, to step out of their previously reserved and somewhat detached positions. It is now a crucial time for truly knowledgeable and well-informed individuals to speak out openly and clearly about these significant and ongoing experiments so that our responsible authorities can make thoroughly informed and judicious decisions regarding the comprehensive future and direction of these important projects. Thank you so much, families, for listening. This is what went down, and they are calling for the citizens to go out and protest against it who does that? Who did it? Few days ago, or two weeks ago, I shared a video about the Minister of Health going through the villages, giving vaccinations and mosquito nets. One of the videos, he surprised some of the hospitals 
in the middle of the night. Can you remember my family? Traveling around all and under his nose, something like this happened. How serious is this? I, I, I'm speechless and I don't know what to say because we know what is going on. Many a times these things like this, they go to, the, to Africa to experiment, to try it. Mosquito uh, injections, malaria injection prevention, they are very, very expensive. They are expensive. The tablets are very expensive. They are not cheap. So for someone to be trying this, saying that they want to prevent it, the same people who are getting money from it, that's what I was thinking. The same people are saying that they are trying this uh, genetic, whatever it is, to prevent it. Please, families, am I getting crazy yet? Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? For years now, I've heard, I don't want to mention his name, because sometimes when you mention his name, it triggers something that this video will not go anywhere for people to know. So you know the person. They were experimenting with it. They said they would take it to Africa because it's Africa that have malaria. To prevent it, I, I, I don't know what to say, but I'm waiting because there are two things happening in Burkina Faso now, and that's why maybe they are quiet. They will come out later because of our brother Anino uh, case and also uh, the UN and also other things and this recent attempted attack, the citizens are very, very vigilant and those that normally go out, I shared a video last week, they have a meeting, they are organizing, who knows, maybe they were told not to go out now. And also there's a video I'm working on, they have another meeting again, and the citizens, vigilantes, and the VDPs um, for other media YouTubers to ask them questions. And so I'll bring it later, um, maybe next week or this weekend, I don't know. So maybe that's why they are not out yet, but I'm sure they will be out to say something about this. I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that it happened during this time. Anyway, families, you heard them. You heard everything. I will leave you here. Um, let us know if you are in Africa, in your country, what is going on. Have they released it yet? Are they talking about it? What is going on? Sometimes things like this, when it happened, within a short time, then it went quiet. In Kenya, when they were um, children's babies, they were putting things under their skin to identification, to identify them. We shout a bit, it went quiet, whether they continue doing it or not, we don't know. It's dangerous. Baby that just pop out. They are putting things under their skin called identification. Do it in your country, not in Africa. Experiment it in your country first, if it works. Grown-ups are doing it. That's their business. They are grown up. They don't want to carry passports with them, so they want these things under their skin. They touch it. They go, fine, that's fine. But leave the babies alone. Let them decide when they grow grown up. Credit to FASO 7, BF1, RTB News. I don't know where I get it. All of them for sharing all the information with us so we know what is going on. I have not taken your work for granted and I appreciate what you are doing to support these three countries. Families, I will leave you here. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. And um, thank you. Thank you for your support and everything. That those of you who have been super chatting me, my members, thank you so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Liking the video, sharing them, it helps a lot. I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great day. I said that three times. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye-bye, families. <laughs>